Toy Addicts, it's Jody. So I went to this estate sale um, and I did a mega haul or actually a three part mega haul. I'll put the little link up here if you want to see all the crazy good stuff I got at this estate sale. But this was one of the things I got for $2.50. I got this whole big bag of like vintage play food. And some of it looks so neat, I had to share it with you. And it'll be great for my little um, play grocery store supermarket that I showed you a while back. And I'll put that, um, a little link to that up here too. Here's a little box of cornflakes. Nothing on the back, but you can see they go into pretty good detail on these a lot of the times. This is uh, Nabisco Honeygrams. Looks like it's open. Oh, it got torn. That's too bad. But it's a little Honeygrams box for graham crackers. They used to just um, wrap the packages in um, wax paper inside the boxes. This is a little, let's see, what is this? Wonder Looper Bucilla Table Knits. Huh. There are actually things in there. My goodness. They're like little, um, little placemats. They have like little fringe and everything. I mean, they're all cardboard, but those are so cute. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. I love that. So you're actually in there, the little placemats. And then we have this, a nice little can of Campbell's clam chowder soup. A box of Mrs. Paul's crispy, crunchy, breaded fish sticks. Mmm, fish sticks. Some La Rosa spaghetti number nine. A little spaghetti box. It always reminds me of the book, um, the Little Old Man Who Could Not Read. Do you ever have that book? That was one of my favorite books as a kid. And this little old man that couldn't read. Well, you should go find the book. But this little old man that couldn't read, he, um, his wife went on a trip. And so he had to go to the store and buy stuff for, for himself. And he tried to buy spaghetti and meatballs or, you know, spaghetti and spaghetti sauce. And he ended up with a box of wax paper and some onion soup. And he hated onion soup. <laughs> There's some carnation evaporated milk, some sun-made raisins that almost looks like the little, the same size as the little box they give you, um, you know, the little boxes you can get. Some people give for Halloween. And this is a Pepperidge Farm thin sliced white enriched bread. So it's like, oh, you can see where it's supposed to be like a bag of bread, but it has a sponge inside. Oh my gosh, are those supposed to be slices of bread? Is that what this is? Is this slices of bread in here? Because that would be awesome. I can't get them out though. I'm made for kid fingers, not adult fingers. <laughs> but yeah, you can see in there, there's a bunch of them. Slices of bread. Pretty, pretty cute. Love that. A big old carrot. Some fruit cocktail, some Nescafe coffee. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, what is this? 
Arctic char. Interesting. Can you see that very well? Smoked, sliced. Hmm. There was some play utensils in there. That spoon and this little mixer. Whoops, which just fell apart. I need a little glue on that. There's a little thing of coffee, which doesn't really look like the same stuff, but it says South American coffee. Hmm. That's mighty generic of you. Here is a can of Crystal Rose Watkins Company soap. This is an actual can. And Watkins is um, a company that did like door-to-door um, -door sales. So this is kind of cool. It doesn't come open, but yeah, this is really neat. This is something that's even more vintage, I think, than the rest because it's actually metal. So that's really neat. And here are some bird's eye eclairs for eclairs in this box. I wish there were really some eclairs in that box right now because yum. Beachy spearmint gum. Oh, oh, this is interesting. They use the gum box. This was like, I was going to say, this is like a regular size gum box for this, but they actually used it to glue a toasted wheats and raisins sticker on the box. Hmm, cute. There's another corn flakes and this one's all taped up. And we have another raisins, champion raisins. Some frosted pop tarts. Look at that good old fashioned Pop Tarts box with like no cartoons or crazy frosting everywhere. Oh, and here's another Pop Tarts. And they actually look like they were tasty instead of weird. Here's another, like a meat fork. And then this is a plastic carton of milk. So you can tell these are like from a lot of different sets, which is cool. I'm fine with that. A slotted spoon, a baby bottle, and this is Northern luncheon napkins. Let's see if there's some napkins in here. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Oh my gosh, there are napkins in there. Look at that! Teeny tiny little napkins! That's cool! Oh my gosh, that's neat. Ah, oh, the things that will entertain you. <laughs> teeny tiny napkins. Here's some Lipton tea. Other than that one, now I'm going to be checking everything to see if there's anything fun inside. And this is Jumbo Straws. <gasps> there's actual straws in there. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> there's actual teeny tiny little straws in here. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's so neat. Jumbo King Size Carnival Straws. How fun. Oh, man. Love that. Here's another utensil. And some Wax Tech Sandwich Bags. There's actually sandwich bags in there. Oh, my gosh. Ah, look at it. Little sandwich bags. 
Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Okay, I probably shouldn't be making this excited over miniature sandwich bags, but that's awesome. Look at that. Grape Nerds. This is probably like, um, this actually seems like the size of the little Nerds candies that you would get at Halloween, you know? And then just like a plastic soda bottle. Let's see what else we got here. Some um, forks and knives and stuff. A banana. A cocoa soda bottle. Let's see. What's this one? White Scotty's. Family hankies. Are there going to be tissues in here? Okay, how do I open it without ruining it? This side, I think. Uh, nothing in there. Dang. White Scotty's family hankies, though. Interesting. And then this is a... Baker Fresh Chocolate Chip Cookies. No cookies in there. Some shampoo. My Baby Shampoo. That looks like it went to a baby doll. And here's a Wax Tex box, but no wax paper in there. Boo! And an animal candy little box. This is, let's see, what do we got here? Natural original Italian nougat candy. Oh, that's probably what was actually in here because it's a pretty big box. And honey grams. Another one of those same boxes from before. Makes your grocery store look more authentic though, right? If you got more stuff on the shelves. Some more utensils. Oh, my wax text box there. Some hamburger buns. Toothpaste. More evaporated milk. A uh, piece of, a couple of pieces of uh, aluminum foil. Don't know what that's about. Um, Warinta orange soda. So you see the printed t pull tab on the top. Hmm, that's really cute. I like that little container. A can of V8 vegetable juice, a little thing of milk, some bird's eye sponge cake, yum, and then this one had sounds in it, Halo Play Birthday Candles. Let's see what's in here. Oh, so there's like little, the little things you put in the cake and then the little candle that goes in them. Fun. There's four of the things, but only one candle. Dang. That's fun, huh? As I throw them everywhere. Birthday candles. Puritan chicken drumsticks in a can. Weird. And this is old fashioned sweetheart sugar cones. There's ice cream cones in here. 
Oh, they're stuck to the box. Uh oh. Wonder if I can open it from this side without hurting the box. Don't rip. There's two ice cream cones. Look at those. And then there's, it looks like two things of ice cream, but they are seriously stuck to the box. So I'll have to mess with them a little bit to get them out of there without breaking the box, although it's already kind of broken. But those are really neat ice cream cones with ice cream. So fun! So many little surprises in here. I love it. Uh, let's see. Bartlett pears. Yum. Love those. Aluminum foil. And I can feel something in here. There's. That's why there was those little pieces of aluminum foil. Because there is aluminum foil. Fun. Oh, can that lost its label. It's it's a surprise. It's like a blind bag, only for dinner. Open it up, and you gotta eat whatever's in there. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not anchovies. Some more evaporated milk. Some Chef Way vegetable oil. Some. Mary Mustard, and Nicoa Margarine, let's see, we're running low here, this is cute, it's a little, um, like a little mug of some sort maybe? Hmm. And this is Libby's corned beef, but someone's taken like the label and glued it onto a wood block. That's kind of a neat idea. And then it looks like the rest of the bag is, ooh, look, another birthday candle. Yay! Put that in there. The rest of the bag is some little miscellaneous stuff. A couple of hot dog charms. A little green pepper. Some more utensils. A little peach or orange. A couple more hot dog charms that are stuck together. Because you know how everybody wants a necklace with a hot dog on it. <laughs> well, everybody did in the 80s. Here's another hot dog charm. And a tomato. And a strawberry. And another hot dog charm. And then the rest was just some more little utensils and baby doll spoons and stuff like that. So overall, this is a pretty fun little set here, especially the ones like the straws and the ice cream cones and the little napkins. Ugh, I love those. And most of this stuff is not going to go on eBay or anything. I'm going to keep it for my little grocery store. Um, so I get to enjoy it. Yay! <laughs> this was a fun video to make. Those I love those little surprises. I did not expect there to be little things in there. Because you just don't find that anymore, you know. Most of your play food these days is more like this than like, you know, actually making tiny little straws to fit inside of your tiny little straw box. You know what I mean? Because, yay, that is so cool. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure and like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.